Okay guys, I was just about done with work and my uh, old dentist had given me a call. He said, can you help me out? I got water leaking from a ceiling at one of my businesses. So here I am. Didn't even get home from work. All right, all right, all right. Oof. Imagine getting an air handler up in here. Do, 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 do. All right. Wow, man, 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 man. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? All right, there's your evaporator coil. Let's see, we get our drain. Okay, it's not. I see water in the hot water tank section. I'm just shooting this little quick video real quick. Okay, I got water right below there. Okay, let me take a look down in here. Oh, yeah, we are overflowed, everybody. Okay, now since I can't get to the other side of this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out my swoosher gun and flush that down. But first, let me pop this door off just to take a look in here. So. Okay guys, so I'm inside of the evaporator coil section, okay? This is a drain pan. You can obviously see there's water all through the bottom right now. What happens is the minerals, after an air conditioner cools down the air, it's dehumidifying, it's pulling the moisture out of the air. It goes down into the drain pan, then it wants to go down the drain and down to the main drain in the facility. Now, leftover residue is calcium deposits and sometimes dust builds up in there and it creates like a little bit of this like slime and believe it or not, it can, it can plug up your drain, okay? So that's one thing. Um, also, there could be stickers and tags from the equipment. Uh, they can peel off over time. Now, what I'm using is, this is a, a swooshing tool. It's called a gallo gun. And what this is, it's got a little CO2 packet inside. Just a little CO2 packet that slides up in, okay, inside of this handle. Then you tighten it up, and you've got a little trigger, okay? So I'm going to stick this right on here and try to flush down this trap. Stick that right down in. And if you look down here, it should be draining. If you watch carefully, the water is flowing. See down, right down in that hole there? And I can actually hear it draining all the way over here at this time. So, and that's on the main drain for the uh, facility. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I have a certain type of brush that I'm gonna run down in here, just to clean it out a little bit more. And then I'm gonna wipe out inside this drain pan and then finish it up, spraying it with my Viper pan treatment. This works very well. So it's nothing more than an enzyme. It gives a nice scent. So that's what I'm gonna do. So, okay guys. Okay guys, so I used my little brush to go down inside the drain assembly, okay? Now obviously I can't get it around all these elbows. There are certain types of drains that have a nice smooth curve to them. Uh, the next um, tenant over does have one. I'll show you that real quick. But um, just take that and rush it, brush it back and through and Loosen up all that crud, okay? Just loosen up everything you can. Um, then just use some fresh water and just dump it in a little bit. Let that go down the drain. You can hit it a couple more times with your gallo gun. Um, after this is all gone out and it's all wiped down, go ahead and hit it with your, your Viper pan treatment. Uh, then put your cover back on and you'll be all good. So, uh, you can also check, um, I brought up my level just to be safe. The equipment's supposed to be level, always installed level, okay? Unless the manufacturer specifies different. But I personally, I try to pitch them slightly towards the drain, just slightly because I want that water out of there, okay? And this one's level, so which is fine. And the drain pan, actually how the plastic is, they drive it this direction, so. Okay, guys, I'm gonna let that drain down a little bit. And uh, I'll put these covers back on and fire this unit back up. Draining nicely now. Okay. 
Alright. Okay, guys, let's give a little spray. You're supposed to get the bottom of that coil. That's where they want it. If you read this bottle. Okay. Do your stuff, Viper. Do your stuff. Okay, guys, this is one of the other tenants at my dentist's um, facilities. You have the return air goes through the old furnace, okay? It can be heated or cooled. This is the evaporator coil I had installed here with one of my buddies, 2017, and it's been working well, okay? Tubing looks pretty good. Now, um, look at this trap. There are no separate elbows or anything. It's free flowing, okay? And this, you can take the cap off and you can flush it down, okay? There are no tenants down there at this time. The trap actually looks pretty goobered up inside. Um, goes out and goes over towards that hot water tank. That's where it originally was. So all I'm gonna do is, let me see, use my judgment on this. I'm gonna run, let's wet this brush. Let's just wet her down. Yep, she's going down. A Little bit of crud in there too, it's gonna come out. I'll flush this down with some of this water and then I'll get some fresh water and flush it down again. Yep, all about that maintenance, people. All about that maintenance. <laughs> it's actually going right down that drain. I'm gonna flush this again here. There we go. Here, I mean, might as well hit it. Yeah. Okay. Shoot a little bit of this viper, viper down here. Uh, one other thing I'd like to mention: technicians work in every condition. Okay. I know I'm starting to glow here with sweat. 105 degrees, 0.6 Fahrenheit, <laughs> and there's no airflow right now at this time, so it gets a little warm. So you got to do what you got to do, guys. You signed up for this deal, so have fun with it. And that's pretty much it. That's part of maintenance. Changing filters, flushing drains, checking uh, belts, um, cleaning coils. So, all right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.